home, home on the range. Hey, Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director Love. You know, the Power Director Love you're looking for from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on the Produce Range effect in Power Director. So, let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. I'm going to show you how to produce a segment of your timeline. Now, I would love to produce multiple sections of the timeline, but that isn't possible in Power Director right now. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to be able to produce multiple segments of your timeline using Power Director. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get rangy. In the timeline, I have a simple slideshow that I made. Now, I'd like to produce a segment of this timeline because I only want a few of the pictures that are in the middle. So, I'm going to place my playhead at the end of what I want to produce. So, basically, I'm going to produce and it's going to stop at this point where I have my playhead right now. Now, I need to know ex the exact time of where my playhead is. So I'm going to click on this movie button. And it tells me that I'm at 7 minutes, 50 seconds, and 1 frame. So I need to remember that. You need to write it down or put it in notepad or something like that. All right. So now I want to place a timeline marker where my playhead is because I'm going to need to move my playhead. And I want to know exactly where it is now. So I need to create a timeline marker. So I'm going to place my cursor over the playhead and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select add timeline marker. Now I'm going to type in the time, 7 minutes, 50 seconds and 1 frame. And then I'm going to click on OK. And when I move my playhead, you'll see there's a timeline marker that I added there. So now I'm going to place my playhead at the beginning of what I want to produce. So I'm going to place my cursor over my playhead. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag my playhead to where I want to start. Or I can click on the clip where I want to start, whatever I want to do. So this is where I'll start. Now, I can place another timeline marker here if I want to. But it isn't necessary, so I'm not going to do it this time around. What I am going to do is I'm going to take my cursor. I'm going to place it over this yellow mark out point until my cursor turns yellow. Once my cursor turns yellow, I'm going to hold down my left mouse. and I'm going to drag this until I get to where this timeline marker is. And it should stop me. And it just kind of snapped to that timeline marker. So, this is the mark end point where this first yellow piece is or this first yellow tab is and then this is the mark out point. So only this area here is going to be produced. And you may notice that above the timeline now there is a produce range button. So, now all you need to do is click on the produce range button. And it'll send you to the produce screen. And you do all your settings, pick all the stuff that you want to produce, location, all that stuff. If you don't know how to produce a video or save your video, how, whatever you want to call it, or render your video, whatever you want to call it, then you need to watch my produce tutorial to get all the info you need to get that done. And it's that simple, my friends. All right, Power Director Peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. Truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Huggy Bobo. Huggy Bobo makes videos of nursery rhymes and children's songs. So if you got some kids running around the house and you need to calm them down, tune in to Huggy Bobo, check out their channel, watch a couple of their videos, 
And if you're feeling what they're dealing, and if they can calm your kids down, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Huggy Bobo did, and you're a subscriber to this channel, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out the shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete the tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any questions, comments, you just want to talk, you want to chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click the bell. When you click the bell, you receive notifications when I upload content to YouTube. That way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.